So you may have noticed that in my videos I have one very very small bookshelf behind me um, with not a lot of books on it which is kind of weird for someone who you know vlogs almost entirely about books and talks about books constantly. There are two reasons for that. Number one, I read a lot of books from the library. I try not to spend too much on books because honestly I can blow an entire paycheck in a bookstore if I really want to. Um, number two, I'm in a temporary living situation and so in order to save space and try not to invade other people's territory, I brought my one bookshelf and only two boxes of books with me, kind of my what's important and what's not boxes. So I'm going to give you a quick tour of my bookshelf just so you can see the kind of things that I like to keep with me all the time, sort of. First thing we have here is my cookbook, a lot of old family recipes and a lot of favorites, that kind of stuff in there. These folders and the first few books here are all religious books of one form or another, um, a lot of things that I use to plan worships for conference attending and whatnot. We then move on to things about Buddhism, which we have three different books, a Bible, what would Buffy do? Philosophy and religion. And Buffy the Vampire Slayer, all in one. Uh, and a couple more books on different religious and spiritual things. Um, the rest of this shelf is pretty much all kids' books. Uh, the Wonderful Wizard of Oz, Through the Looking Glass, two different corduroy books, because why not? Uh, also have my absolute favorite book that I own, which is this beautiful 1946 copy of Winnie the Pooh that I got a few years ago. Absolutely love it. After that, we have my Harry Potter series, the four paperbacks, and then the three final ones in hardcover. Also have a Marauder's Map there. Pretty swanky. Um, this is where Tofu and Seitan, my koalas, live. Also have some Shell Silverstein and Dr. Seuss over here. A couple of um, souvenir playbills. Uh, down on the next shelf, we have my one art book that I brought, which is Angels in the Architecture here. Absolutely beautiful photography book about the Traverse City State Hospital. Um, we also have a picture of all of the band seniors from my senior year of marching band in college because I'm a giant nerd. Um, after that we have graphic novels of a few varying sorts. I've talked about all three of these in my videos already. And then we have the giant shelf of young adult stuff. Uh, up at the top here, the Fault in Our Stars empty book jacket, which is still empty. Some John Green, some stuff about the Hunger Games, literary analysis of the Hunger Games, Jennifer Donnelly, David Levithan. Um, Going by Bovine by Libet Bray, which is amazing. Judy Broom, classic young adult. And Amelia Atwater Rhodes, who's been my young adult vampire love since I was very young and in high school like 10 years ago. Uh, also got Maureen Johnson, Stephanie Perkins, Mark Suzak, basically all of your young adult needs. And also a Pez Penguin, because why not? Uh, after that, we've got a lot of Mercy Thompson books by Patricia Briggs. Basically the entire series. It's one of my favorite series and I've been rereading it lately. Um, we have The Brick, the Les Mis paperback, which I just started and have been making very, very slow progress on. Um, also Pride and Prejudice, which is another one of those books that I've been meaning to read for a very, very long time. Uh, there's a couple more hardcover paperbacks down here on the bottom, plus some random books about sex, because, you know. And then we have DVDs for the rest of it. Gilmore Girls, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Labyrinth, Narnia, Princess Bride, Oz, just many, many nerdy things. So yeah, those are the books that I brought with me. Um, a lot of them are books that are really important to me or favorite books, and then there's a few that I've just been meaning to read for a long time, so this was kind of an easy way to force myself to read them by having them be the only books I haven't read that I brought with me. And there you go. That's why my bookshelf is kind of sparse. <laughs>